Good evening, Mr. Sosa, my friend. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the, the importance of uh, research ethics. Uh, we are a group that are conformed by Nectarí Sandoval, uh, Damián Alvarado, and Juan Antonio Barrientos. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about what is a research ethic. Basically, research ethic uh, focuses on uh, the analysis of an ethical issue that are raised when, when people are involved as a participant in, uh, in the research. Uh, this comes of, a, of th three uh, specific uh, ethics. The first one is to protect always the, the, the protect the human. The second one is that the research uh, needs to be focused on the interest of an individual. And the third is to examine the specific research activity for the for the ethical sentence. Although policies uh, policies, principles and codes are very important and very useful on this kind of information, there, there could origin some conflict. But meaning conflict is that the, the person that is going to do this needs to uh, be aware of the information they're published, uh, how to handle this information, and uh, uh, interpret, interpret it, and uh, using this in these uh, ethical situations. Next one is my friend Nectarida is going to talk to you about uh, ethical principles. Um, good night to everybody. Um, this time I'm going to talk about some important principles and and uh, so we can start uh, first the first one is uh, you have to be objective um, you have to try to avoid um, bias and experimental design um, you also have to um, know what you're doing or know what you're saying uh, you have to disclose the personal or financial interest um, you have to avoid or minimize uh, bias um, it's important that you have your very objective. You be clear on what you're doing, and don't mess mess up everything. The next one is you have you have to take into account. You have to be very with uh, integrity. Uh, you have to keep your promise and your agreements always first. Um, you have to act uh, with sincerity. Uh, you have to strive for consistency and. And the next one is carefulness. Um, you have to uh, avoid careless enters uh, or e errors. Um, you have to be like very, very, very careful on on how you're typing or how you're writing something. Um, you have to be careful on, for example, do not do not commit errors. Uh, you have to cite everything that you're doing because maybe someone already covered it so uh, taking care of that that is very important uh, the next one is openness um, um, they say that you must you must share data uh, the results uh, the, the resources and the tools that, that, you, that you have but I think that it depends on your own point of view because maybe being open and and sharing your your ideas may not be a good idea because you're you can, you're you have, you're 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 in the risk of of losing your your recognition that you will gain after all uh, taking account that you will be open to criticism and to new ideas if you share your idea maybe someone can develop a uh, new ideas. Um, also, um, you have to think about the respect for intellectual property, uh, honor patents, uh, copyright, 
and other forms of intellectual property or uh, try to not to not use unpublished data or methods or results without permission how I said before um, it's very important that that you if you if you didn't uh, if you don't know that thing who, who wrote it so you have to search and and you have to cite uh, what someone uh, did so um, give, give a proper acknowledgement or credit for all contributions to research as you would want that, that someone who, 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 who took your idea uh, will cite your name or the, the year that you, you published the book or some, some uh, article um, next um, so uh, it's very important uh, for for these people to do this, but I think that it all depends on on the on each one because no one is um, yeah the the rules the, the golden rules, but no no one will um, do it like all of them. So uh, next, um, uh, Damian will continue explaining. He will explain a a case where we can find what happened and how, what you should do. Uh, okay, uh, good night. Uh, today I will talk to you about a case of Mr. Uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Dexford. Uh, she was an important investigator of a, a, of a epidemiological study. She studied a demographic area about uh, 10,000 producers. Uh, he was uh, studying the influence of agrochemicals, uh, how it can cause uh, effects in the in, in all the population. So uh, she uh, made a good. She had an impressive data data uh, um, that uh, investigation. So she was in a in a controversial time because they have two choices. Uh, one is the ethical moral that he has to publish all the all the data that they have because a team asked her. She only publishes some one part of the data, but a team research one that they he she. Uh, publish uh, all the all the data, but because this they are in a controversial, so as as difficult choice because first uh, it can cause uh, for example it, that he can go down the recognizing him because she can cause a big uh, influence in a economic area, but and the other thing is that. She wants to help the health of the other people, so if she wants to uh, uh, to take one of the options, the, she wants to have a good opinions and be so uh, and investigate more about the the topic. So this was a an example of a case of ethical or moral dilemmas. So thanks.